What's up guys, Sal here. So one major improvement Samsung made with the Galaxy Z Fold 2 over the original Galaxy Fold was that it drastically increased the display area of the outside screen with Samsung calls cover display. However, most of that growth happened vertically as Samsung really just got rid of the huge forehead and chin bezels of the original Fold and did not increase the phone's width all that much. That left the Galaxy Z Fold 2's cover display with an awkward 25 to 9 aspect ratio which is really tall and narrow. You can still comfortably use the outer display though but sometimes it feels like the display is cramped especially when typing. Also some apps don't display properly in such a tight fit. Huawei recently launched the Mate X2 that has an outer screen with a 21 to 9 aspect ratio that makes the phone feel more like a conventional smartphone. So this is one of the areas where the Galaxy Z Fold 3 could improve upon and thankfully that's what Samsung is doing according to the latest information. Apparently Samsung is doing it by changing the dimensions of the Z Fold 3 and this could be a good thing or bad depends on your preference. According to a Korean publication, The Elect, the Z Fold 3 will have a wider outer screen than the Z Fold 2, which is a great thing. To make it happen, Samsung is reducing the bezels both on the outside and the inside. The Elect reports that the Z Fold 3 will have almost zero bezels both inside and out. Another way Samsung is making the cover screen wider is by actually reducing the screen size of both the inner display and the outer display. According to the report, the main display will reportedly be slightly shrunk down to 7.5 inches while the cover display will be 6.1 inches. It's not a drastic change but the report mentions that the overall form factor of the Z Fold 3 will be similar to the original Fold helping Samsung to increase the width of the cover display. Now as a result of the slight reduction in screen sizes, the battery is getting a slight cut as well. The report says the Z Fold 3 will have a 4380 mAh battery down from 4500 on the Z Fold 2. The original Z Fold had the same 4380 mAh battery though. Now with a slight smaller display, optimized software and a new processor, users are unlikely to notice any major differences in battery life. Plus Samsung is using a polymer less OLED on the Z Fold 3 which consumes less power, the battery life will be at least equal to its predecessor even with a slight reduction. Anyway, the Z Fold 3 is rumored to have the under display camera technology. It's been a while we haven't heard anything new about it but fresh reports suggest that the Z Fold 3 will indeed have an under display camera both on the inside and the outside screen. The S Pen support is on the cards too, though I still can't confirm whether or not there will be a dedicated slot for the pen. But in any case, this tweak design could see Samsung achieve perfection with the Z Fold 3 or at least close to it. Samsung is expected to launch the Z Fold 3 along with the Z Fold 2 earlier this time in July followed by the S21 FE in August. Of course, with that being said, do consider subscribing for all the latest tech news and as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.